Right, hi everyone, Paul down here at CCRV. Uh, we're going to do a video now of all the selling points on a Rockwood. I've been asked many times about insulation, uh, gas storage, water storage, all this sort of stuff. So do a quick walk around uh, and all the selling points and benefits on the Rockwoods as regards four season living. That means you can live in it all year round in minus sevens or 90 degrees of heat. Right, so we'll start here. Right, this is the front belly locker. I've obviously pokes in here, he's head in here. Now this comes standard now on the new Rockwoods. They have two batteries and they also have a solar panel built on them. This is the isolator for the batteries, so when you're in storage you can turn that off. Electric motors for the front legs. All the front legs on these are electric and all the rear legs are electric. We'll get to that soon. Uh, we wire these all up for 240. Um, which is all over here, transformer, and this is the 240 volt uh, control box there with the fuses and trips and what have you. So everything's in that front locker as regards the 240, and the bottom is steel. So the floor here is steel, so you can put heavier items like a little generator or tools or stuff like that in there. That's pretty much the front. So we'll have a we'll start over on this side. These are for the gas. You've got about 11 kilo bottle in there, 11 kilo flow gas will go in there, uh, or any gas bottle, and this is the changeover switch here, which gives you left and right, so you literally just turn that that way, and it go onto the bottle the other side. We change these ends, these are American ends, so we change them to English, but your normal gas will go in there. So that's that. This is the belly locker, so if we have a little look in here, pop the light on. You can see they're aluminium construction, they're not wood, like many of the cheaper ones are, they're all aluminium. That over there, is a, uh, that's a water filter, and there's a little inverter there that, that changes some of the electricity from the battery from 12 volt to 120, but I'll show you that in the small for America. All the water pumps, everything control panels, are all behind this panel here, and this is your storage. Right through on the unit, and the, even the slam panels on here, are well insulated, they're all polystyrene. We'll get to the insulation in a moment. That's Collins just come back with another one. Right, so the doors you get basically fly screens, so you can shut that off in the summer, stop the mozzies. So all this stuff is standard here at CCRV. Um, residential steps, if you haven't seen one of the videos before, they simply pop up inside there stow away when you get to where you're going you throw them down and you're out and there's this grab rail there to hang on to out here we've got a rail here for a barbecue which sits down there which comes with it again that is free of charge that's all with it and there's a gas point under here so it just literally pops in here is ash under there that, that pops into there so you just plug your grill in this one here which is a 2445 has a little fridge on the outside so you can put your bits and bobs in there. Nice little extra. Again, all included in the price. This is the, for the hot water, for the shower and everything like that. Real basic design. How many gallons does this hold, this boiler? Well, this is 13 litres, isn't it? 13 litres of water. It's held in there. It's on the gas for constant run shower. So that's the boiler. So that's all tucked away in there. Very basic design. They've actually done these for years, so you won't have any problem with that. But as we go around here, we start, we've got an awning, it goes on there that comes comes out, and then underneath we've got all LED lighting, a couple of speakers, and they've all got this, this is thermal pane they call it, basically double glazed privacy windows. They have all them on the uh, newer Rockwoods that we sell. We convert all these, so we've got rear flashing lights to conform to UK regulations. These are all IVA, these units. And we've got an access ladder, if you would want to get onto the roof. The roofs, you can walk about on the roofs, three quarter ply, give or take, just for inspections, or if you want to get up and view something, they're ideal for that. All right, so we ease around here. These sort of plugs are redundant. That's the old uh, hookup for the American ones, but rather than take them off, make it a bit ugly, we sort of leave them on there. And if you look underneath, the rear legs are electric. So when you get on site, you just press the button and the legs go down, sort of levelling it up uh, front to back. They do level it up front to back. 
um, and it's a little bit uh, easy to level these side to side and that's on another video but we'll do that and that's one of the waste gates uh, I think this one is for the sink at the back so you either put that over a manhole or you get one of the containers like you would have in a caravan one of these totes they call them right seals people ask me are these sealed are they waterproof well if you have a look up there you can see the spouts where the water runs off right up there see it dripping and then that that keeps the water away from the body and that was what all caused the problem so that will keep the water away from the body this is the insulation so as the slide goes out there's a rubber seal and then if you look behind there they're also sealed again so it stops any drafts water ingress anything like that as I say, these rockwoods are high end. Look at that, it's froze that, isn't it? These rockwoods are high end. And they come with everything, basically. Right, here we go, get the alloy wheels and stuff. Here's the other, here's the other drain point here. This is for the black and grey. They'll come through, through from there on this particular model. Uh, this is where you fill up the water. So it'll hold, what does it hold, Ash? 90 gallons, aren't they? No, about 40, isn't it? Oh, yeah. About 40 gallons of fresh, grey and black. And the fresh water is filled up through there. Got all sorts of little lights here and there, what you can flick on if you're in the dark. Here's the other one for the, the other side for the gas. Again, the gas bottle goes in there. Change over switch on the other side. And then here is where all the action happens. This is called a convenience centre. This is what the Americans call it, the convenience centre. So the water, basically, if one is fully serviced pitch or mains water or full-time living, whatever, comes up through there and goes into that one, city water. And you put these little taps here in this sort of configuration, dry camping, city water. So you put them in that and you're on the mains water. There's a shower here if you little make any mess down there when you're emptying can't in the waste right what we've got now oh a bit of insulation this is the important one everyone asks are they good for four season level well this is the proof because we've took a couple of vents off here to show you right if you look in there see the polystyrene what is that about 25 mil 25 well that's all the way around this is a vent that is so it's simply a vent for the battery cover goes in there so we've took the cover off there's a cover just to show you uh, but we've got 25 mil insulation there this is uh, the whole body is insulated like this with polystyrene you know how warm polystyrene is you can't really go wrong there's not many units made now that have got this in this price range and uk truck turbo that have got this sort of insulation double glazing and made for four season living oh yeah it's all under cloak you see see all this and this is this new thermal stuff that they put on there so this is a little bit better than the normal old plastic stuff it's all like a thermal insulation so it is insulated from the underneath right up to the floor so it keep your feet nice and warm right let's have a look you look inside shall we right we're in the bedroom now now we what we've done is we've taken the skylight this is the cover of the skylight that goes up inside there so take the cover down so it show you the thickness so what do you think there's ash about 80 mil about 80 mil so this is about 80 mil just to give you an idea if you look up in there, we've got aluminium construction to roof. Not many manufacturers do it like this, it's all wood. And this is all polystyrene here, which goes right through the roof, front to back. And all the air conditioning, all these sort of things are cut out in the polystyrene. There's all vents and channels and what have you. I if you can see up in there. Yeah. You can see the polystyrene, so there's no tricks here. You can see all the aluminium construction here, all holding the thing together. So again, you can walk on the roof with safety if you need to. So that's basically the main selling points of these units. We'll just run around inside quickly just to show you around. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, please like and subscribe. It's free to join us on the channel. Um, and it really helps us out build this channel for UK Rockwoods. Right, we'll do a little quick tour for folks because if you're watching the video, we might just as well carry on. So this is the bedroom. Uh, was that a king size bed yeah. king size bed that's the wardrobe with all the mirrors over there that slides in you can hear a jet going over now i might just stop that one there 
Right, see there's the wardrobe, so there's plenty of cupboards and nightstands, very comfortable bedroom. You can have it nice and cool if you want it, you can have it warm if you want it. There's heat vent down there, so you'll never freeze in these. That This brown box here is the main fuse board for the 120 and the 12 volt. Let's pop me that open. There you go. They're all the 12 volt. These are all the 120, so it's really easy, accessible. If things don't work, you can just check them fairly quick. The little light switches there, uh, take them off. Right, in the bathroom, let's put the lights on for you, Ash, there. If you have a look in there, we've got a lovely shower. And we can get two people in. I don't really know why they make them so big, really, but you could get two in there. You've got a toilet, some cupboard space for towels and whatever. you. The all-important extractor fan. Very nicely appointed, quite nice modern fittings. Bit of a Corian worktop there, look at that. You wouldn't mind that indoors. So that's a nice bathroom, and then we come down the steps here. Over here, we've really got their latest control panel, so as you walk past it, it lights up. And everything's on there, lights, slides, entry step, uh, gas, heater, electric, water pump, all, everything's on that control panel. This is to set the, uh, it's basically climate control, so you can set the temperature on here, and that works your furnace and the air conditioning. Uh, this is for an extractor fan that's on the ceiling. If you can't reach it, you can do it remotely. And this is the solar system charging, which again, all comes with it, the solar panels. No extras to pay. Right, now we're down in the living area. I say lovely, lovely colours. These are the latest ones now. They've all come in this sort of colour. We've got theatre seat in there, so you can sit here, watch the telly. These are reclined, so they're proper, you know, drinks holders and whatever. They've got massage chairs. Oh, that's got lumbar support, it's actually working. So they've got lumbar support on the back of the chairs and they recline. So there you go, you can sit there and watch the telly. So we've got the TV over there with a nice sound bar, plenty of storage. I mean, never lost for storing stuff in these, look. You can put all sorts in it. And then a nice little dinette, which that will fold down to a bed if you've got grandchildren or whatever, or somebody wants to sleep in it. So this table simply collapses down into that gap and these cushions fit in there exactly. So you've got a bed and then we've got a nice fridge and freezer. 12 volt fridge, these are 12 volt now, they don't do them gas or 240, they're all 12 volt. And hence, that's why they put solar panels on, double batteries, so you've always got 12 volt on these vans, your fridge is working. All right, I think this is more at mark here, they put a convection microwave in here. So you can almost do a Sunday roast in there. Quite complicated that, that potatoes, pizzas and popcorn. You do everything in that one. And then we've got a nice little oven and a grill and then these little old splashback things on. I think the idea of those, you can put a hot pan on there. You know, if you're cooking stuff, you can put it on there. All modern fitting. So that is a 2445. Uh, the last thing I'll show you, which is quite important, is when you're actually towing it, uh, they have a Reese Revolution hitch on them. And so I've got one over there that I can demonstrate it on. So carry on watching and we'll just pop outside and I'll show you the hitch. Right, this is called the Reese Revolution hitch or Sidewinder. That's advertised, just for manufacturer's name. And what they do, I'll show you. A normal hitch will be fixed. So what you would do is hook it up. This would be fixed and it, it would pivot from here. It would turn from here. So that's reducing your turning circle. What these do is they have a wedge on here. You see that wedge? That locks this pin off here and that allows it to turn back there. You see that? See where that's pivoting from now, back there? That allows it to turn from back there and that will give you what? Four or five inches long more turning circle. So you'll almost get a full 90 on the full Ranger on level ground. Um, so that's a perfect and a big selling point for us because it makes the vans much easier to park and more manoeuvrable and people feel more confident driving them with the revolution hitch actually locked off and working. So there you go. Thanks for watching the video. Carry on. This sort of insulation, double glazing and made for four season living. We'll just pop in quickly inside and I'll show you the insulation in the roof. 
Eh? It's all closed in. Oh yeah. 